My name's Ian Coleman. Uh, we're going to be looking at the FX majors, but we're also going to be looking at uh, a few of the crosses this week because I think they've got far more interesting setups um, for uh, potential buy trades. Uh, and in particular, we're going to be looking at the Euro crosses, Euro New Zealand, Euro CAD, and uh, Euro Aussie. So we're going to start with the Euro dollar. Uh, we're going to be looking at the short term time frames for the FX majors. We still believe that we're in a bullish. Uh, reverse head and shoulders pattern so this being the left shoulder head and then potentially we've got a right shoulder down here which is at 112.31 we did see a reaction at uh, the 78.6 percent pullback level uh, which is at 112.70 but we have seen a correction lower so this could be an a b uh, c d formation down to here um, short term time frames d mark has posted a nine count uh, on this four hour chart uh, which normally means that we're going to see at least a correction to the upside. So we might see some choppy trading um, first thing uh, on Monday. But like I said, we're going to be concentrating on the Euro crosses and the Euro crosses actually highlight that there should be limited downside uh, for Euro dollar uh, this week. Sterling dollar, we're in a large expanding wedge formation. Obviously a very uh, tricky uh, currency pair. Uh, to forecast at the moment. The expanding wedge has a bias to break to the upside, uh, a break of 128.37, and the measured move target is 131.75. Dollar Swiss, um, Elliott wave formation to the downside, five wave count. Uh, we've then seen a reaction lower from uh, the trend line resistance, but uh, similar to uh, Euro dollar, or the opposite to Euro dollar, we could see a higher correction uh, towards 101.15 uh, in what looks like an ABCD uh, formation. Dolly Yen, we broke this wedge formation to the downside. We had an impulse break. Um, however, the, uh, the rally stalled. And in fact, we've seen a very decent correction to the upside. We need to see a break of this swing low, 113.19, uh, for the next leg lower. Uh, down towards 111.40. Dollar CAD, uh, this is the weekly chart. We've seen this wedge breakout. We've seen a retest or a very close retest of the reverse trend line resistance. We do have support this week coming in at 131.95. Um, it needs to break there uh, for the medium term bias uh, to continue to the downside. Aussie dollar, um, impulse wave formation to the upside, so five wave pattern. We then saw an ABCD uh, formation to the downside. We did get long at uh, 72 the figure, uh, so we've seen quite a decent move higher. However, this could uh, turn in to a uh, bearish head and shoulders pattern. So this being the left shoulder, this being the head, and then a right shoulder up here, and we could see a more prolonged correction to the downside, 71.80. But at the moment, as long as we don't break 72.28, which is the weekly support, then our intraday bias is still to the upside in Aussie dollar. Euro sterling, uh, the weekly chart really is what we're focusing on at the moment. We've got uh, a trend line break or a uh, channel breakout. We've got reverse trend line resistance at 89.57. As long as that doesn't break and hold, uh, then the bias is still to the downside in euro yen, uh, sorry, euro sterling. Uh, euro yen, we look, we've had about 10 days of mixed trading. Uh, this looks to be forming a bullish uh, ascending triangle formation. We've got trend line support here, which is at 129, uh, sorry, 128.01. We've got bespoke support at 128.10. So we're looking for uh, any sell off in euro yen uh, to be limited. So like I said, we're going to concentrate on these three crosses. So we're going to go to Euro New Zealand first. We're going to break down time frames from higher time frames to lower time frames. Uh, the monthly chart, uh, mixed trading. Uh, we had a bearish outside candle uh, in October, which has projected uh, this cross currency to the downside. The medium term bias or the long term bias still looks negative for Euro New Zealand. If we go to the weekly chart, we can see we've got a channel breakout. Reverse trend line resistance is at 172.75 uh, and is a 
short term correction target. So if we do see a bounce to the upside, then our target level is going to be around about 172.75. If we go to this time frame, which is the daily chart, we can see uh, that we're very close to a 261.8% extension level, 164.29. As long as we close this week above 162.25, then the bias reverses. We're looking uh, for a correction higher towards that reverse trend line uh, resistance. Euro CAD and similar uh, to Euro New Zealand, we're in a large triangle formation. Um, has an eventual bias to break to the downside. Weekly chart, and this skews that uh, that long-term bias. We've actually uh, looked to be forming a bullish ending wedge pattern. We need to see a break of 151.20 for correction higher uh, towards 155.86, which is the start of the wedge formation. If we go to this time frame, which is the daily chart, uh, similar to Euro Yen, we look like we're making uh, an ascending uh, triangle pattern. A break of last week's high, or sorry, I should say Friday's high, and the measured move target is 155.10. And again, more importantly, is this time frame, which is the 30 minute time frame. We can see that levels uh, close to the 261.8% extension at 150.33 uh, have stalled the sell off. We've got bespoke support at 150.21, and we're looking for that uh, to trigger longs in Euro CAD this week. Euro Aussie, uh, a large corrective uh, channel formation. We have seen a bearish outside month again in October, and we've had some follow through selling. However, there's no clear indication that this corrective uh, channel. Uh, has come to an end. We'd need to see a break of this trend line support here at 144.81. If we go to the weekly chart, uh, we can see a bullish five wave count to the upside. Uh, we've got a 13 count, a DMARC 13 count on the weekly chart, and that normally highlights uh, that the trend is coming to an end. If we go to the daily chart, again, we're close to a 261.8% extension level. That's at 153.90. If we go to the shorter time frame, uh, we can see uh, that we've got a 261.8% extension level at 154.70. So all of these crosses are basically highlighting uh, that there should be limited downside in the euro at the beginning of next week. But we prefer to concentrate on the crosses uh, than we would actually on euro dollar, uh, at least at the beginning of, uh, of this week. OK, uh, I hope uh, you've enjoyed that video analysis and we'll speak to you again soon.